Hi loves, welcome to my channel, This Mama Loves Disney. Okay, so you guys, I have a small collective haul. And um, this haul is due to looking for some triple thick. And also I was looking for some straight pins. I had been to so many different Dollar Trees looking for straight pins. They do not have straight pins at Dollar Tree. Um, or at least my Dollar Trees don't. I think I went to like five different Dollar Trees looking for straight pins. Not all, you know, I was looking for other stuff too because I've been working on uh, uh, organization. So, but really quick, that being said, this is what I ended up with. Okay, so while I was looking for straight pins at uh, the 99 cent store, I did run across some. So I picked up two packs of these straight pins. Um, uh, there's something that I'm going to share with you guys. I'm so excited. But I needed some straight pins, um, some more straight pins to share with y'all. So I did end up finding some straight pins. Um, and then I also picked up some thread because I've been making my own bows and um, I've been needing some thread. So I did pick up some thread with all different colors. So I was excited about that. And then I also, I was watching Bethany's channel. Hey, Bethany. And um, she was sharing these balloons, um, but she was sharing them from, because uh, she does a lot of different um, awesome, awesome um DIYs for Dollar Tree. So when she was sharing these balloons, she was blowing them up with a straw. Do you know every single time that I saw these balloons, I never, I, I just, you know, just never even looked at, you know, I would just glance at them and then just turn away. I never realized that you just use a straw. There is a straw in here to blow this balloon up. I... I, I guess I, I'm old school. I thought that these balloons were all helium balloons. Um, and so that's what I thought they were for. I thought you buy the balloon and then you take them up to the, to the counter and then they fill them up with helium. So, no, these are just balloons that you blow up with a straw. So I did pick up a number six because my grandson will be turning six. So I did grab one of those. I thought that was pretty color. Okay. Oh, and then... <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Wrapping paper. It is a Hallmark wrapping paper. There was only one, you know darn well. If I would have saw more than one, I would have picked it up. But they had this at the night at the 99 cent store with Mickey and Minnie. So I had to pick this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I had to pick this up. So um, yeah. So I was so excited. So that was um, a Hallmark paper, which was kind of exciting to see that at the 99 cent store. So yeah. So here is my triple thick, you guys. I finally found my triple thick. I had been all over the world, it feels like, looking for triple thick. And I did not want to order it on Amazon. I think Amazon was $7.99. And I thought, you know what? All the gas that I spent looking for it, I probably should have just bought it on Amazon. But you know what, you guys? It was $6.99 at Hobby Lobby. And then when I went to go pay for it, which I had no idea, it was an extra 30% off. I was so excited. So yes, that was a win-win. So then um, I ended up looking through the clearance section and they had the tracing paper. Um, and I did end up getting some. I know that I could have just used regular butcher, like, you know, the butcher paper. Um, but I did end up getting this because um, I thought it was a great deal and then in the clearance section I also found some of these little um I don't know what these are called they they say acrylic confetti so I got them in the clear because I know that they had different colors but I did get the clear because I thought I can go ahead and put the alcohol inks on here if I wanted to or if I wanted to put this on something to make it look bigger um I can just put a little image behind there and it will make it look bigger. So I did pick those up. Those were $1.24. Um, um, I did get this mold. I have been seeing so many people, not now, but a months, maybe it was even last year, they were picking up these molds from AliExpress. And I almost picked it up at one time and I, and I, I don't know. It was in my buggy for the longest time. And then I, um, you know, 
just eliminated it. So I just happened to be in the baking area because I was avoiding the, the aisle that had a bunch of people in it. So I went down the baking aisle and saw these and I was just like so excited. So I did pick up this mold with all the different cute bows. Um, and I was watching Armin's channel. Hey, Armin! She was making these beautiful little clip charms um, that are made with these little safety pins. So I thought, you know, what a good thing to have in my stash. So I did pick up some of those. And then I picked up some more of these little um, jump rings. Um, they're like an oval jump ring. I, because I just did um, some tassels that I used for Miss Judy. Hey, Judy, who is my scrapbook loft. And um, so I used a bunch of them. And plus, I also used a bunch of them for some of my projects because they're just a little bit longer. Um, or actually, they're better to put through like an eyelet sometimes when you have the eyelet like right next to the frame of whatever your project is. So I did pick up some more of those. And then I also got a, got them in a bigger size too. So I did pick up those. Every time I'm at um, Hobby Lobby and they have these on sale, I pick up some more of these little um, pokey tools. Then I was all excited because I found these. Oh my gosh. Yes, I finally found some of these little um, images. It's so funny because I have been looking for these for like a year. The, these were in the section where you see teachers' um, projects and everything. And um, I just love the little fox. The fox was my favorite back then. But then I started... Real, I realized that there was little skunks in there, and that's what we used to call my daughter. She was a little stinker, and um, and it's funny because I used to have like back when she was little, I used to have a couple different skunks because of her, and I absolutely love flower from Bambi, so um, I was excited to find these. But every time I was looking for these, they were never on sale at um, Hobby Lobby. I guess I could have just used a forty percent off coupon, but just never thought about it. Then I found these little um, snaps and they said, it says, said that there was some missing right here. And, um, but for 87 cents, I thought, you know what? It doesn't matter if there's a couple of them missing. Um, it still was worth it to me to pick up these pink ones because I use a lot of pink. And for that price, I just couldn't pass it up. Then I ended up picking up some of these cute little butterflies. I saw a couple different ladies use these as charms, and I thought, how cute is that? So I did pick up some of those. And then I found some of this really, really pretty um, ribbon that I just thought would look beautiful with some fall um, projects. So I did pick that up. So that is my haul. Thank you guys so much for taking your time out and spending it with me. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.